program to acquire new weapons and including aircraft. A particular style of aircraft was initially conceived in the early 1960s through an informal collaboration between two Marine buddies. Uh, and one was named uh, W.H. Beckett and the other one was Colonel K.P. Rice. Uh, the concept for a rugged, simple, close air support uh, integrated with forward ground operations was wanted. At the time, the U.S. Army in Vietnam uh, was still uh, experimenting with armed helicopters and the U.S. Air Force uh, was not interested in close air support. What evolved from this collaboration was a twin turboprop short takeoff and landing aircraft known as the OV-10. So the OV, OV, letter O, letter V, meaning observation, uh, and the 10 means uh, the 10th design. Uh, a rugged, simple, close air support aircraft integrated with ground control operations. Speed was to be from very slow to medium subsonic with much longer water time than a pure jet, which is what was needed. Weapons could be mounted on the center line, eliminating no converging fire calculations. Among those armaments that could be uh, mounted on the OV-10 could be uh, 308 caliber machine guns with 2,000 rounds of ammo, a 20 millimeter cannon, si and sidewinder air missiles. It could be powered by um, two, in this case, it's powered by two Garrett turboprop engines, each engine producing 1,040 horsepower housed in twin booms that extend from the aircraft central nacelle, which contains the two pilots, and up to 2,400 pounds of cargo. She was uh, able to operate from aircraft carriers if needed, fly at least 350 miles an hour, take off in as little as 800 feet, and with its 40-foot wingspan, was able to take off from narrow, narrow tree-line roads. Eventually, the OV-10 served in the Air Force. Anyhow, whether they liked it or not, the U.S. Navy, as well as the Marine Air Corps. Uh, the Marine Corps. In total, there were 360 OV-10s built for Vietnam, and, um, and unfortunately we lost about 81 of those. Now a little uh, uh, back talk about the Mekong Delta, where they operated from in Vietnam. From its headwaters in Tibet, the Mekong River flows across China, Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia before it splits into two tributaries uh, in uh, Vietnam. Formed in January 1969, a Naval Aviation Squadron of AV-10s stationed in the Mekong Delta during the Vietnam War was identified as VAL-4, nicknamed the Black Ponies. And if you notice on the fuselage, the insignia of the Black Ponies, meaning the VAL-10 squadron, and also VAL-10 somewhere on the fuselage. Um, okay. From April June to June 1969, the U.S. Air Force conducting their own operational exercise called Misty Bronco in South Vietnam. The results were positive. And by October 1969, all U.S. Air Force OV-10As were armed with internal 308 caliber M60C machine guns. She was pretty potent at the very least. In 1971, the OV-10A bombers received more modifications. These modifications primarily included 
the additional addition of spot target laser designator pods and specialized night periscope equipment and Loran equipment. These aircraft supported interdiction of troops and supplies into and on the Ho Chi Minh Trail by illuminating targets for laser-guided bombs dropped by F-4 Phantoms. The service branches had different opinions about the Bronco. The Air Force was, uh, was displeased, to say the least, with the, uh, with the plane itself. They preferred a faster, more heavily armed plane, and I would imagine something like the F-100 uh, in the uh, forward air control role. The Marines, by contrast, liked the Bronco just the way it is, and they continued flying the Bronco until 1994. The Bronco took on diverse tasks as the war's popularity waned back home. As troop and support levels declined, resources were stretched, Broncos flew night interdiction over Laos and Cam Cambodia, and helped also helped free the crew of the merchant ship USS Mayaguez uh, that was captured by the Khmer Rouge in 1975. The Vietnam War was a long, costly, and diverse conflict that pitted communist government of the North Vietnam against South Vietnam and its principal ally, us, the United States. The conflict was intensified by the ongoing Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. More than 58,000 Americans were killed along with many North and South military uh, Vietnamese and civilians. Opposite Opposition to the war in the United States bitterly divided Americans, even after President Richard Nixon signed the Paris Peace Accords. Commuter, communist forces ended the war by seizing control of South Vietnam in 1975, and the country was unified as the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Before we begin, okay, uh, this exciting demo that you're all about to see, there's something of a personal nature I want to say. Although our returning veterans from Vietnam were never received a proper homecoming, I would like to say on behalf of all my colleagues here at Plains of Fame, Welcome home. Okay, after the OV taxis away and gets prepared out on the runway to take off and do his demonstration, we're gonna have a little uh, uh, raffle, okay? So if you have your uh, raffle tickets, if you're a member, you should have them, and just keep them handy. Yeah, I do.
Schlehet, Meg.